reintroduced the Thomas Wooden Railway line in 2022. I myself have made a video looking at the leaked prototype images of these models, and there I said Percy was my favorite. So here we are. I picked up this little guy at Barnes and Nobles, so let's get straight into it with the box. Thanks to the new contemporary box style, you're able to more easily remove the engine without damaging the box for collection purposes. I also enjoy the simplistic print of the model on the front, as well as the wood printing on the side and the engine sleeve, which gives it a nice professional feel. Now, upon opening the box, you're able to see a side view of the engine, which allows for more clarity on what it looks like, as the renders aren't always 100% reliable. And of course, when being bought in stores, the engines would be held in by a thin rope so that they can't be stolen. Of course, since mine has already been opened, I cut the rope, thus my Percy is flopping out a bit. Now, if you couldn't already tell from the box render, he's small. Comparing this Percy to a standard Mattel Thomas, he's ever so slightly smaller than him, making him more closer in proportions to a wood Percy, which is quite nice as it adds more show accuracy. Now, the quality of the decals are also amazing, having a great opacity, and the detail in the decals is also incredible. There are pistons, rivets, hinges, and handrails littered throughout the model, as well as a firebox glow from inside the cab. The coal bunker also got an upgrade, as it's now molded in plastic and has more detail compared to a simple strip of black paint that was seen before. Now, taking a closer look at the chassis, we can see the engine's name printed on the bottom as well as the cloud logo. I don't entirely understand why the cloud logo is printed, but my best assumption is that it adds more brand recognition to the toys. Then there's the lovely face. I adore the style of these, and I do find it odd that the base Percy didn't come with the happy face, but the surprise one is really cute, and I'm sure we're going to get a happy face for every character eventually. Now, last but not least, of course, there are the wheels, the love it or hate it aspect of this toy line. And I personally don't mind them. It's the unique aspect of the line. In fact, it differentiates itself from its predecessors through that. At the end of the day, they're just exaggerated train wheels, so they aren't that bad. Another great thing worth noting is the customization opportunities with these toys. Now, if you didn't already see the Master of the Lemons video on this, I'd highly recommend checking it out. It's in the card in the corner. Now, what he showed off is that if you take the face off the model, there is a screw attached behind there. And if you unscrew that screw, it connects to basically every part of the model holding it together. Now, if you were to do that, you'd be able to disconnect the dome and the chassis from the model. And since the coal bunker is also a plastic element, I would assume that you could disconnect that as well, which adds for great customization and ease of painting. Something else that's cool is the style of the faces allows for quite simple replication, as you can make a mold of them and resin cast them, or you could scan them and then 3D print them, allowing you to have more facial expressions that aren't already released, or make your own for the characters. All in all, this is an amazing Percy model that might just surpass the old wooden railway Percy for me. And if you haven't already, I highly recommend getting this new one. They're new on the market and it's the best time to do so.